Here is the 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 6 Preferred Long Range. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the Ioniq 6, what safety features you get with this trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada, so be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, thank you to 401 Dixie Hyundai for allowing me to review this Ioniq 6. Be sure to reach out to them and ask for Doug. Starting with the different trims that you can get when it comes to the Ioniq 6, there are two variations that you can get. This will be the preferred long range, which is a rear wheel drive, or you can get the preferred long range, which is an all wheel drive. Also, both of these do have a package that's called the ultimate package, which adds a ton of extra things, and this will cost you about $6,700 Canadian. And this rear wheel drive Ionic 6 that I'll be going over today does have the optional ultimate package. And either one of these trims that you do pick do have their own unique features and options as well as exterior looks and interior looks. Now, as for the safety features that you will get with this Ionic 6 trim, it includes the blind spot collision warning, rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist, forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian, cyclist, and junction turning detection, lane keeping assist, lane following assist, driver attention warning, safe exit warning, highway driving assist, parking distance warning for reverse, and the adaptive cruise control with stop and go. And since this has the optional ultimate package, this is also going to give you things like the forward collision avoidance assist 2, blind spot collision avoidance assist, blind view monitor, highway driving assist 2, surround view monitor, parking distance warning, and this is for the front, side, and reverse. Also the parking collision avoidance assist, and this is also the front, side, and reverse, and the remote start parking assist 2. And taking a look at what powers this Ionic 6, the rear wheel drive is powered by a 168 kilowatt electric motor plus a 77.4 kilowatt lithium ion battery. This particular one is going to give you 225 horsepower and 258 pound foot of torque. You also get the ultra fast charging. And in terms of range that you can get with this, it's about 581 kilometers with the 18 inch wheels. But since this has the ultimate package and it gives you the 20 inch wheels, the range is then reduced to about 491 kilometers. The front of the Ionic 6, it has a pretty distinctive look to it. The bottom area here on the bumper has these flaps that do open and close. There's also the front safety sensors and over on the corners are these functional vents. Up top, you also have the Hyundai logo. Then are these unique LED headlamps and if you look closely, you'll notice the square designing inside and I think this looks pretty cool. And you'll notice this around the vehicle on the exterior and the interior. Coming to the side of the Ionic 6, the shape of this is pretty nice and you get this coupe styling. Up top, you do have a wide type sunroof as Hyundai likes to call it and this is a part of the ultimate package. Around the windows is all black trim and the door handles are body color plus they pop out like this when the vehicle is unlocked and when the vehicle is locked they're flush against the body. The side mirrors are also body color and the same square details continue as turn signals. Also there is a side mirror camera which again is equipped with the same ultimate package. Along the sides at the bottom is this grey stylish side skirt. Now as for the wheels standard you typically get the 18 inch wheels. But again, with the ultimate package, this will upgrade you to these cool looking 20 inch aero alloy wheels. Also on the sides, you'll notice these marker lights. Coming to the rear of the Ionic 6, I think this is where the vehicle shines. The back looks something like a spaceship. The bottom area has this styling in grey that covers the entire bumper. On the corners, the squares continue as these are your reflectors and the reverse lights. Also are the rear safety sensors. And on the sides are more of the vent styling, but these are not functional like the front. And the rear isn't complete without this LED tail light that's made up of a bunch of squares, which I'm kind of digging. There's also the Ionic 6 badge in white there. And this is something that you don't see often, but this has a dual spoiler, which does make the rear end perfect. Now the top one does act as a brake light. Opening up the trunk and the Ionic also has what's called a smart trunk which is hands-free opening. You do get a good amount of space back here and there's even more space underneath this carpet area to store more things. 
Also at the top here are these knobs to fold down the rear seats. Coming into the rear of the Ionic, here's how the door handle pops out. It's pretty easy. And back here, you do get a nice door trim layout. You've got some space there at the bottom and this gray trim which does stand out. There's also ambient lighting under here, a part of the ultimate package. Then from this side to the rest of the armrest, you do have the soft leatherette trim. And here's where the rear heated seat button is located. There's also some more space in here as well. And this little area here, which also has a speaker covered in chrome. And I like how this whole panel wasn't left just plain, but instead it's textured. As for the rear seats, the ultimate package gives you the leatherette seats, plus they do come heated like I mentioned. And these seats are pretty comfy actually. Also, pulling down the center area will have the cup holders. Also, there's no hump on the floor here, which does help with legroom. And if you look right underneath the seats, you do have an outlet back here as well. Behind the driver and passenger seats is some netting space that you can use. And over on the rear console will just be the venting, USB ports, and a small space there at the bottom. You also get this chrome door sill piece that says Ionic 6. Now, coming to the front of the Ionic 6, it's just like the rear but with a bit more space there at the bottom and a much bigger speaker. And with the Ultimate Package, it does come with the Bose Sound System along with the driver memory seat buttons. As for the front seats, these are pretty nice and just as comfy. And here in the middle, you do have the perforated sections along with the square designing again. Also, the front seats are both heated and vented and again, this is with the Ultimate Package. Even the headrests are pretty uniquely designed. And for the interior colors, you can either get all black or you can get it in white, depending on the exterior color that you pick. The front seats also come power adjustable. And down here is the same but larger door sill piece. Even the mats have Ionic on them. And underneath are just the pedals and hood latch release. Above will be the electronic parking brake, cluster dimmer, charge port opening, trunk opening, traction control, and the side mirror buttons. The steering wheel is manual adjustable and also you'll notice this curved look here which is on both of the sides which does make you feel like you're in a cockpit with this grey textured trim. Entering inside of the Ionic, the dash has hard material and also you have the Bose speakers on the pillars. Another thing with the ultimate package is the heads up display which is a convenient thing to have. Then you've got this stunning 12.3 inch digital cluster. There's a ton of vehicle information on this that you can go through and it's super clear and responsive. Plus I like how all of it is in white. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather and does come heated. And I like how it has a flat bottom. Then once again will be more of the little squares there in the center. And on the left side will be the cruise control, cluster, vehicle distance, and the lane keep. There's also the different drive modes that you can pick from, so you have the button here. The other side has the media, Bluetooth, audio, phone, and favorites buttons. Behind the steering wheel will also be the paddle shifters, along with the light controls and the wiper and washer controls. The shifter is also back here, where you just turn this and it switches gears, and then you just press to park. Also, the center console has this floating look to it since it has storage underneath that also has a 12 volt outlet. Here's the center armrest which also has more leatherette. And opening this up, you do get a decent amount of storage space along with USB ports. In front of the armrest is this small storage space. Also, on the center console is where you'll find the window controls, the lock buttons, and the auto hold. Then will just be the cup holders. And you've got this space up here which will be the wireless charging area and you've got a USB port here as well. Up here, you have the start-stop button, temperature controls, and the heated and vented seat menus. Right above this are a few buttons like the map, nav, media, favorites, 360 camera, and the parking sensors to turn them on or off. Also, you've got the nice slim venting design with more ambient lighting. Then is this 12.3 inch touchscreen, just like the digital cluster, and all of this is in one piece. This is also nice and pretty responsive. On here, you have the main screen with some info. Then there are two other pages of menus that you can go through. So on the first page here, you have the EV section where you can see your range, battery percentage. You can also set your minimum charge percentage. There's other things as well like the max charge percentage, AC charging current, battery conditioning mode, utility mode, smart regen system, 
charging connector lock mode, charging voice prompts, and the plug and charge. Next is the map section, which is nice and smooth. Then will be the navigation menu to search for things. Next is the phone section, once you have it paired of course. Then will be the phone projection section. And here you have the voice memos. Then is the climate section or you can use the controls below. The warmer ventilation section is for your heated and cooled seats. Then is just the valet mode, quiet mode, and HD radio data. Now under settings, you can adjust more things about the vehicle including the ambient lighting. Then you'll just have things like the radio, media, blue link, notifications, and the user manual. And here's the 360 camera view. As you can see, there is a bunch of different angles that you can see around your vehicle. Up top is the mirror, interior lights, sunroof, roadside assistance, and SOS. And here's the sunroof that I was talking about with the ultimate package. Here's the key fob and what it looks like for the Ionic 6. Now coming around to the passenger side, the nice texture trim and ambi lighting continues over. Then will just be the glove compartment. There is no window sticker for this Hyundai Ionic 6, but this does start from about $57,600 Canadian. Plus you've got the added $6,700 ultimate package and this may be minus any dealer discounts and manufacturing rebates if they're being offered. Well that does it for the review of this 2024 Hyundai Ioniq 6 preferred long range. Let me know what you think of this. Do you love it or do you hate it?